How to create mockups in Canva for Etsy. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create mockups in Canva for your Etsy shop. So let's get into it. Now, creating mockups is a very important thing whenever you're looking to sell any kind of product. May it be a digital or a physical product. This is just one example of a mockup that I created. And you guys can go on Etsy and whenever you look at listings, all of these items usually have been generated by a mockup. So a lot of digital art is only created with mockups. A lot of different creators are building all of these items and they're only displaying their mockups so you can easily create these types of mockups using canva this can be for a physical item as well i'm going to show you guys both of those things so let's get into it now the first thing you have to do is create your canva account i already have created mine you only need to use your email address to sign up and I am currently using the pro version of Canva, but you don't need the pro version to create mockups. There are hundreds of templates available absolutely for free. So all you have to do is just search for mockups. And I'm just searching generally for mockups to show you guys the different types of templates or the different types of variations available. Now, as you guys can see, this is a physical product, a t-shirt, a mockup for that is available. You have book cover mockups, tote bag mockups. You also have card mockups you have actual digital product mockups such as these printable art mockups sticker mockups you have mobile cover mockups you have packaging mockups so there are a lot of different things that you can create with these mockups so let's say first off we're going to create a for a physical product first and then i'm going to show you guys how to build one for a physical product uh you need to create a mockup especially if you're not looking to invest money in you know creating the item first and then if no one orders it your product is going to you know be wasted and just to show you guys an example for those types of products let's say printed t-shirt like this and you can even offer customization in that so you guys have you know this type of t-shirt your design here so people can even add their own designs and you can just sell them to the customer so you guys can see there are multiple variations available this image is definitely generated with a mock-up this one these ones as well like this so let's say i want to take my celestial design and i want to add it to a physical clothing item so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for clothing mockups on Canva. Now this can show you multiple different types of mockups. I'm going to search for maybe t-shirt mockups. I think I want to make a t-shirt with our design. So, or I'm just going to search for mockups and then you have multiple different template suggestions, but we can go on ahead and search in this particular section. Now, I am going to go with a basic t-shirt one that's present on the top over here, like this one. And I can click on customize this template. Now, whenever you open up a template, you even get your design similarity. So things that might be similar to your template. And let's say I want to do it maybe like this one as well. You have multiple different options. So we also have this one, this one as well. Now, let's say I want to use this one instead. I think this looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on customize this template. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I've uploaded my design over here on Canva. So I am just going to click on this image over here. Obviously, this image is a bit too large. So I'm just going to resize this image and I'm going to place it over here making sure i'm just placing it however i'm going to print this and just like that we can add our little product mockups like so now another great thing you can do is go into elements and search for frame and you will see multiple different types of frame if you're going for a certain type of style let's say you're going to print out images like this and that's how you're going to add them to the clothing items so you can add them in a frame and then put the frame over here just to make it easier for you to format your items later on as well and if you go into the element section and you search for mockups over here you will find multiple different mockups available in the element section as well now this is just for a physical product building this for a digital product is even easier so let's say we are building a frame 
if I just search for frame on Etsy, you will see frame prints like this. And then you will see set of three framed maps. You have faceless portraits, mid-century art. So if you take a look at this item over here, this is a rainbow printable. So this is a printable item. And this is the thing with digital products. You don't actually provide the image file. Obviously, people could copy that. So you create a mock-up and you're just going to upload the digital files and the digital downloads on Etsy. So to create a frame mock-up like I created over here as well, you're going to go into Canva. Just search for mock-ups in Canva again. And then you can scroll down and you have different types of mock-ups so you have this individual image mock-up you also have multiple image mock-ups as well so if i scroll down and take a look at some of the items let's say i like this one i can click on customize and you will see this is a simple little mock-up i can always increase the size on this like so and remove the text if i want then you can also go ahead and search for more items that befit the aesthetic tone so whatever type of printable item that you're selling whatever the printable is if it's really dark if it's meant for a baby's room then you're gonna find a mock-up that would fit a baby's room if it's like very beige and neutral you can choose one of these types of mock-ups if it's meant to be a very centerpiece of the home then you can choose these types of mock-ups as well so I really like this. This is a free mockup. None of these, you know, these ones aren't pro. And I can click on this. And whenever you click on one that you like, make sure to scroll down and you will find similar results as well. So let's say I also like this one. So I can open this up and then I can upload my digital art or the printable file into these images. So I can just delete these files over here. And you even don't even have to delete it. You can just click on the switch item. So I'm going to go into my uploads and I'm just going to add my image files over here. And just like that, the image will be replaced and our new mockup has been created. So in this way, you can get started with building Canva mockups for your Etsy listings. Now, once you have built your mockup, you're going to click on share on the top right. And once you click on share, you're going to click on download. Now, always keep the file size or the quality as high as possible and make sure to always download as a PDF standard or PDF print or JPEG. So because this is just for Etsy, I just download it as a JPEG. It really doesn't matter. And you guys can see over here we have our file size, which is going to be large. And this is the size of our image. So I can go for 2000 by 2000 pixels as well. And then keep in mind, this was a video because it had some animation. I'm just removing that. You can add your own text over here. And to add some text, just click on text on the top left. Click on add title. And you can add whatever text it is. Celestial print art. And I can just add it over here. And I can go into effects. And I'm going to give it a background. And I'm going to change the background color to this over here and just like that you can add more info as well whatever info you want to add directly into your mock-up image and then click on share download and download as a png so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to help you guys out and i will catch you guys in the next video